I am in shock. <laughs> I like, okay, I've been having a struggle with the oat milk situation here. Um, I've been like getting different ones. Like I got the Carrefour brand, like I got all these different brands. And, um, and with my Nespresso milk frother, it hasn't been frothing. Um, and I went to the grocery store and I got this one. Avoine sans sucre. And I, I just like dumped it in to my Nespresso frother thinking, oh, you know, it's probably not gonna like froth up because every single, I've tried like four different kinds. And I guess I haven't tried the one without sugar, but I don't know why that would make a difference. Um, and I look over and look at that, look, like, what? Look how far, this is awesome. Oh my God, oh my God. Ugh, like, <laughs> I'm so happy, like that actually, it's the little things, it just makes me so happy. I have a yummy little latte. They've just been like, sorry, this is like, <laughs> they've just been like matcha lattes with warm milk, like matcha with warm milk. This is, it's like an actual latte. Ah, I'm so happy. Do you like my little... To block out the sun because I'm just I don't know I'm like having an entire little day I'm so happy about this um time to go edit the podcast cheers um ooh, not sweet though that's the thing sans sucre it's not sweet I should add some honey hello YouTube, what's up? Um, I am. Beep. Oh. I am gonna sit down and chit chat a little bit. Um. Oh my God, it's just <laughs> life is weird. Life is crazy. Um, I, here I'm going to take a little sip of my, my matcha. Um, I feel like I go through these ebbs and flows where I'm just like, I'm just like, go, go, go. Like, let's, let's do it. Let's like do the most. And then, and I took my first dance class last weekend and it was like a heel dancing class. And then this past weekend, I took a hip hop dancing class and I was gonna work out today, but honestly, I, I can't because my butt and my legs are just so sore <laughs> from this freaking dance class. Um, but what I wanna say about that is I used to be really into dancing back in the day and I loved performing and I still love performing like I'll I read my poetry a couple weeks ago for the first time and I love that feeling of like pushing myself outside my comfort zone and I mean hence why I literally live in France why I literally have traveled to so many places like I I'm just someone that needs that and I love that and I feel like performing you always get that and with dancing in particular, I haven't done it since college. And I am like so grateful that I rediscovered it this, these past couple weeks because I've been sort of struggling with just feeling like, okay, like what, what do I want my life to look like here? Like what do I want, um, how do I, want to spend my time you know like I live alone and I can literally do whatever like I can spend my time however I want to um I mean of course within reason but um yeah I'm just like I'm trying to figure out like how to spend my time like okay what's what's the thing that I want to do like what do I what hobbies do I want to invest in more and things like that and 
I went to this dance class last week and then this one yesterday. And let me tell you, like, sometimes I think, and I'm guilty of this, we start to really overthink our likes and our dislikes and like, we start to kind of, like at least for a couple of years, I was not listening to my intuition and like truly just allowing myself to just be me in a lot of ways. Um, I feel like, you know, I just, yeah, I really like, didn't let myself think and like look at what I wanted and like what truly made me happy um, and I am just so grateful that I am back at this place in my life where I'm rediscovering these old things that truly still reside in me like dancing and like taking up space and movement um, and it's so cool and it's so beautiful to watch all of this unfold um yeah and even it's so scary with getting back into new ho or not new hobbies but like old hobbies because you're like i'm not gonna be as good as i once was like i'm not i'm not the hip-hop dancer that i used to be or like even with running, like I used to run a lot and I haven't ran in a while. And I'm like, I'm just not gonna be as good as I used to be. And it takes so much to just get over your freaking ego and be like, I'm gonna do this. Like, I don't care. I don't care. Like your past self isn't judging. Your past self probably thinks that it's really cool that you're gonna, you know, keep on keeping on with this new hobby. Um, and, I don't know, I just like, I love that. I love that these things and these hobbies inside of us that we had when we were younger, they always just creep back up. And it's like, we think that we grow so much and I've like grown so much. I mean, I've been through a lot and I've, I've traveled, I've been in relationships and it's like, dun, 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 you know, and but at the same time, there's so many things that just have not changed about me. Um, I don't know if I could find it, but I started a website back when I was, I don't know, I want to say I was in high school or maybe like early college. I started a website and like one of my things on it was like, who, like, what do I like right now? I would just like write on there and be like, this is what I like. And, um, I don't know if I could find this website again. I genuinely don't know where it is. It might be like a WordPress website, but I remember this list of 10 things that I made. It was like, I love men's deodorant. <laughs> Just like, okay, like cool. <laughs> men's deodorant, drinking a Coca-Cola once in a while. Um, I forgot what else, I don't know. It was like these like just weird things. Oh, it was, I love indie music and I love ukulele, like I love singing to ukulele. And like all of those things still ring true today. Um, actually my deodorant has switched, but, um, <laughs> but it's those things and it's like, we think that we change so much, but there's so many things in us that I think we just naturally gravitate towards and we try to suppress those things and be like, no, like I don't want to do that or like, uh, whatever. And it's like, no, just like be who you are. And I really think that that's where things come into alignment, truly. Like even little things, like back in high school, I used to straighten my hair all the time because I didn't like my natural hair. And like this year, especially with the bang situation, like this year I'm really getting into my natural, natural hair, like trying to make the best out of it and like have fun with it. And I feel like it just, it's so beautiful when you can do that. Um, 
when you can just really embrace like these things about you that maybe for a couple of years you were trying to suppress or hide. And I think this happens to a lot of women in particular. I mean, maybe men too. I guess I need to have more conversations with men, but I feel like in particular women, we feel like we need to hide certain parts of ourselves in order to, I don't know, like not take up too much space and not be too loud and not be whatever. And and even on the internet, I notice like women, we tend to feel like we can't enter certain spaces or like we feel like we can't show up and like take up space. Um, and I feel like that's a learned behavior over time because I used to be someone that was like super outgoing and like I'm showing up, like I don't care. And then, um, and I'm still like that, but there's definitely some, I don't know. There's definitely some doubts that creep in. Something that I've been thinking a lot about lately as I've been creating this podcast with my friend Sam and then I've been creating little videos on YouTube once in a while and other things it's like I don't have to be put in one box and I feel like I don't know if other women feel this way but I feel like sometimes we're told that we have to you know dress a certain way or whatever you know like is this cute is this pretty blah 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 and it's like dress how you want so yeah this past month has been so cool I've met some really cool people and I'm just excited to grow and explore everything that Paris has to offer I just it's so cool when you have these goals in life and then they come to fruition and then it's like you can just keep building and building on top of that um i feel like that's why it's so important to fall in love with that process of building your life rather than running and grasping at this goal because if you really fall in love with like the process it's hard not to be, not to be happy. <laughs> like even, like nothing in my life is perfect right now, at all. Um, but it's perfect in the way that I just keep showing up every day for myself, you know? And like, some people don't do that. Like some people think that they're stuck and like, some people think that they're not able to reinvent themselves or like cut their hair, cut their bangs, whatever. And I'm not saying that I'm special by any means, but I've always questioned this idea that, you know, people think they're stuck in this one identity or this one way of life and it's just it's not at all the reality like we have so much control over the type of energy that we put out and actually I want to read this one little quote I'm gonna go get it it's in my it's in my little dream slash poetry journal okay this is the quote I love it. Um, for what it's worth, it's never too late, or in my case, too early, to be whoever you want to be. There's no time limit. Start whenever you want. You can change or stay the same. There are no rules to this thing. We can make the best of it or the worst of it. And I hope that you make the best of it. I hope you see the things that startle you. I hope you feel the things you've never felt before. And I hope you meet people who have a different point of view than you. I hope you live a life you're proud of, and if you're not, I hope you have the courage to start over again. Uh, and that's 
by John Steinbeck. So good. So good.